And as the president announces moves to speed up vaccinations, we want to take a look at where the nation stands as of tonight. The numbers, nearly 34 million people or about 10 percent of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated tonight. And when it comes to getting a vaccine into the arms of every person, some states have been more effective than others. News Nation's Brian Enton joining us live tonight to break it down. Brian. Marnie, we're in Florida tonight, which which basically ranks in the middle when it comes to uh, vaccination distribution. It's still complicated because so many different states have different policies, but it's clear that some states are doing better than others. Vaccination sites, big and small, continue to open around the country. People lining up to get the shot. It ain't gonna do us no good if nobody don't get the shot. You know, don't be scared. Just go ahead and take it. So far, 10.2 percent of the U.S. population has been vaccinated, according to the CDC. States vaccinating people the fastest per capita are Alaska, New Mexico, Hawaii, West Virginia, and South Dakota. Tom Hansen, a reporter at News Nation affiliate Kello in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, says the process there has been especially organized. The numbers are impressive in South Dakota, Tom. Um, are people just able to go out and get the vaccine if they want it at this point? Um, they've been doing it in groups like they have in other states, and uh, I think it's just a matter of that you know, a lot of vaccine is available here. You know, Brian, really it has to do with, I think, the fact that we have three major hospital systems all working together. In New Mexico, the quick vaccine rollout is partly thanks to a user-friendly website the state launched early on, according to Chris McKee with News Nation affiliate KRQE. Within not even two weeks, the state was pumping up this portal and putting everybody in the same place to say, hey, if you want a vaccine, go here, put in all your information. There are also states falling well behind the national average. Utah, Tennessee, California, Texas, and Georgia are the slowest at vaccinating people. In Atlanta, News Nation reporter Archith Sashardi says the situation is slowly improving. So Archith, what's the issue in Georgia? Why, why is it one of the worst in the, in the country? Yeah, you know, over the last few weeks, they've definitely stepped up the uh, the vaccine rollout here, maybe a slower start, but certainly ramping up now. They're out of those nine mass vaccination sites. They're also adding new sites in Texas. News Nation affiliate KXAN reporter Avery Travis in Austin says the problem there is partly to blame on Mother Nature. I think a couple of things happened. Obviously, the, the whole nation watched as we suffered a really devastating winter storm that kind of halted the vaccination effort in its tracks. Uh, number two, though, our state officials have continued to tell us it really all depends on supply, and they are just not getting the supply they need. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis also brought up an interesting point today when it comes to reporting vaccine numbers. He says most of the vaccination sites are told they have to report the numbers to state health departments within 24 hours, but oftentimes that does not happen for 72 hours. So that is also impacting the vaccination numbers. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.